Hai, Assalamualaikum to our Madam Nur Dalila Minti Musa, our lecturer for subject ASM 401, Fundamentals of Business. For today, we want to present to you our group video presentation for Corporate Social Responsibility on Inconceive. We are from BA2321A. Our group consists of four people which are me, Nur Alia Maisarah binti Roslan, Umi Fatiha binti Kamarul Hatta, Nur Ain binti Zalilah, and Fatin Nur Shahira binti Khairul Anwar. The origin of Econsafe may be traced back to 1955 to the Lai family little grocery store Rong Long Sandy Shop in Klang. They liked the supermarket ideas and planned to implement it at their family's small store. The first store, Econsafe Kappa, opened on Jalan Makhantu 4, Pekan Kappa, Selangor on October 8, 1993. After nearly three decades of operation, Harga Pedia has named the company a five-time champion in price comparison ranking. They have awarded Adugrah Kedai Harga Patut AKHP Pertama after 10 years of operation, as well as Super Brands Malaysia 2005 in the other two years. The mission of Econsafe is to constantly offer the best pricing in town and use everyday low price EDLP to draw an increasing number of loyal customers to the company. With the slogan Bandingkan Harga Kami, they strive to constantly provide the best prices in town. Next, Econsafe also developed a management team made of dedicated professionals with strong ethics, a high degree of competence, a focus on quality and a dynamic decision-making process. Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to my beloved lecturer which is Madam Nur Dalila binti Musa. I am Umi Fatiha binti Kamarul Hatta from group BA 2321A. Today, I am going to present to you the next slides which related to um, organ organizational values and core principles. The core values of a person or organization are by controlling their behavior. These guiding principles can help people to understand between what's right and what's wrong. Core values helps to determine whether they are on the wrong or right track. When they are achieving their goals um, by giving consistent guidance. Although methods and practices changes on a regular basis, an objective shift from time to time, key principles and ideals should remain constant in a firm. In this section, we will analyze the function of the concept and values in the company's policy to display strong ethics practices. The essential principles and values of a corporation are critical. In keeping consumer loyalty, and they should not change. According to an interview with Mr. Azmi, which is the manager of Econse, the key principles of this market is to make as much as possible profits from buy and sales. Based on the pandemic environmental changes, there are numerous factors that need to be considered by them which related to technology as well as social media. One of the factor is also customer focus and digital marketing. Econsafe's aim is to be Malaysian's preferred supermarket where they can discover amazing deals and save money when shopping for groceries. Furthermore, the purpose of this firm is to supply their consumer with variety of foods at the lowest possible price 
without sacrificing service or comfort. A consafe mission is to ensure that the consumer's services comprise a varied choice of high quality and cutting edge brands. As we can see, the organization is always evolving and following the current popular brands in their products. In addition, the company's goal is to become the largest change retailer in Malaysia. Aside from that, it can save policy priorities, a variety of factors such as organizations, finance, production and marketing. The company's ideas and methods for adopting ethics in their organizations are centered on their employees first and foremost. Econsafe is committed to provide its employees with fair working conditions and flexible employment alternatives, as well as safeguarding their health and safety at work. Second, in order to achieve their continuous achievements, EconSafe varies that suppliers confirm their stated criteria and operate honestly. Third, in order to maintain strong partnership, EconSafe will require their partnership to be transparent and upfront in their talks. Finally, Econsafe demonstrates to their customers on the honesty, integrity, and also justice, as well as commitment to environmentally sustainable business practice such as restricting the use of plastic and substituting it with the use of shopping bags to combat global warming. We are going to move to the next slide that focus on stakeholders of the organizations, which is a concept. So what is a stakeholder is actually mean? Okay. A stakeholder is actually a person or group of people that directly or indirectly related towards the organizations. And the organization's stakeholders represent the interests of individuals and groups regarding any decisions made or activity it undertakes. Similarly, a concept Sandirian Berhai always maintains its responsibilities towards stakeholders in order to fulfill their expectations. The five stakeholders of a business consist of the customers, the employees, the investors, suppliers, as well as community, according to Eber and Griffin. All of these major stakeholder groups have been dealt by a concept. Among stakeholders, customers are the most important. Customers are those who purchase goods or services. By providing customers with such a good quality of products, as well as fair prices, a concept is able to fulfill their customer needs. Econsafe goal is to be a supermarket that meets the needs of the customers. Econsafe also receives most of their customers basically from the housewife as well as the elderly as it is located, located near their house. In addition, a concept also serves them a good price. Not just a good price, but also a reasonable price for each of their customers. 
that makes all of them to choose EconSafe as the best supermarket because of its authenticity. I did a little bit research on Zinke's EconSafe Facebook page and I read some reviews that were left by some buyers there. Oh, I forgot to mention that EconSafe is rated as a 5 star supermarket. That is really great. I scrolled through the comments and see these comments by a woman named Aisha. She said that she is really comfortable to shop there because the availability of the parking as well as the affordable prices that were offered in the um, in the market. Yes. Next, one of the vital components for the stakeholders in EconSafe is, of course, its employees. Employees refers to the individuals that are hired by employers to perform specific tasks. Based on the article that was written by Susan on 2021, she said that and employees need to undergo applications and uh, interview process. Moreover, EconSafe treats their employees fairly and respecting their dignity when it comes to managing their responsibility. EconSafe has a majority of Muslim employees. So, basically, everyone needs to pray when it's their turn. Each employee at the EconSafe is given high priority for respecting the dignity of Muslims. As a result, the employees must obey the rules to pray continuously even during working hours by stopping during prayer time and performing mass prayer with their colleagues. Additionally, such practices create a sense of belonging among employees and cause them to think that they are part of a team. Hence, the next component for the stakeholders is competitors. What does competitors mean? Based on um, Commerce Commission New Zealand, competitors means company that can provide your customer with the same or similar goods or services. Currently, we can see that there is a lot of competition among Malaysian supermarkets such as Pasaraya Darul Makmo, BS, EconSafe, Freshmart, etc. However, I believe it is most likely the price that drives people to buy certain, certain things at the market. I did a little bit um, research for the prices among the products based on these two supermarkets which is um, EconSafe and also BS Freshmark. It is about RM7.99 per bottle of soy sauce at BS Freshmark compared to RM4.20 at the EconSafe. There is a great deal difference in soy sauce between these two markets. Customers left reviews that they indicated that they would love to sh shop more on EconSafe rather than BS Fresh Marts. The rating for BS Fresh Mart is also zero compared to EconSafe, which received 5 stars from the customers. Last but not least, the final stakeholders for the EconSafe is community communities. By giving donations to people in need, EconSafe is actively, actively contributed in charitable programs for, a local, for the local community. They are most recent Existence was in December 
2021 that was happened during floods. The organization um, supplied some food to 60 of victims that were involved in floods. They also involved in a CSR project which they kind of donated basic items like milk and diapers for the kids uh, that were injured back then. If I was not if I was not mistaken, the incident happened around 2015. They sympathized with the condition with the conditions that occurred to that occurred around them, which drives them to help the less fortunate as communities are one of the most important things that revolve around their work. Social responsibility is the concept that people should be accountable for their activities in order to avoid having a detrimental impact on society. Social responsibility, also known as corporate citizenship, is related to business and entail knowledge of the company's influence on the society, as well as the item of the group around them. Business with frequent social duty will always seek to improve their community in various ways. According to an inclusive statement, inclusive area of social responsibility is only customer guided, as well as customers are also very smart and know when they should make a purchase. This is because inclusive companies influence the product purchased by customer. Inclusive own company will influence the community environment. It is to build a good relationship with society and the environment. Approaches to social responsibility program. Approaches to social responsibility program are obstructive, defensive, accommodation, and proactive. First, obstructive approach. Getting in the way of stopping anything in the obstructionist viewpoint, an obstructionist organization tries to impact and stop what is going on in order to avoid CSR initiative. Companies that have negative attitude towards social responsibility have a plan to justify their economic interests by presenting any attempt to demonstrate the company lack of social responsibility. Next, defensive approach companies that take a defensive attitude on social responsibility are often irresponsible. This cooperation may consider themselves neutral and profit is more crucial, motivated for them and executing social responsible action. The firm attempts to respect the law in order to prevent other taking in inclusive, they start that accommodating signify that inclusive believe in the importance of social responsibility. Inclusive junker apply for accommodating way in which they feel that social responsibility is an essential as profit, that they must follow all legal obligation, and that they strive to achieve moral guidelines. Lastly, proactive. A proactive firm like an accommodating corporation prioritizes social responsibility even if it means sacrificing revenues. Rather of responding to criticism, a proactive corporation strives to stay ahead of the curve in terms of social responsibility. Proactive firm prioritize social responsibility even, even if it decreases earning. Yet, in reaction to criticism, companies aim to remain ahead of the curve when it comes to social responsibility. Thank you, Tunia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fatina Shaira binti Harul Anwar. First of all, I want to proceed with the Corporate Social Responsibility Program. First, the concept is collaboration with the social repair department will donation voucher to poor families two to donate food items to the families affected by the recent floods three successfully donated a combined rm6 million in disaster stricken countries such as naples and indonesia for various humanitarian efforts 
this is uh, the three image corporate social responsibility program being by a concept This is uh, the biggest program that they concept to. This is uh, the three image corporate social responsibility program being by a concept. This is uh, the biggest program that they concept to. Okay, the next slide I want to pros to proceed with the social responsibility management. There are two, there are two uh, program, pro bigger program that um, they concept to. First is the project that help people is everyday low price. Okay. The objective is to reduce the burden on the people, two engages in inspire employers and customer, three bolster the company reputations, four boost a good image and increase our brand name. Okay, the next slide is The next slide is Project 2 is Back to School Donation Scheme The objective is to boost their public image by helping to help non-profits and by making mandatory 2. To create positive relationships with customers and the community alike 3. Improve their chance of being favorable in their consumers' eyes 4. Continue to be relevant in the heart of the community when making shopping choice. Okay, the next slide I will give to Alia to profit the to, to proceed with the conclusion. Thank you. To conclude, a concept is always looking for ways to help individuals who are unable to help themselves and to lessen their load. Because of this caring approach, a concept continues to be important in the hearts of the community when it becomes to purchasing decisions. Our projects can help generate awareness for important causes while also keeping your organization in the public eye. A concept has created a pleasant working environment for its employees, encouraging everyone to give their all. In terms of client, we can see that they are performing admirably because many people buy and repeat their purchases. A concept collaborates with Prof. Madia Dr. Zain bin Kanda and academic members and board members of Humanitarian Care Malaysia. Giving and receiving without consent for social standings may benefit everyone in the long run. After all, social responsible business raise brand awareness, customer loyalty and attract top talent. Finally, everyone can agree that corporate responsibility is essential for any firm or corporation since it serves our worthy goals. That's all from us. 